Hello there guys, um, I need your help. Uh, back again with another video. Um, got a problem. My monoblock started smoking on me the other day. Uh, my Pioneer Champion Series is a GMD9601. It's um, one ohm stable. Oh, I'll add a link in the description so you can see and you can read the, the uh, specifications of it. I was driving down the road literally about 10 minutes. Uh, I didn't have it on, it was very low because I was on my way to a job interview at the time. And uh, I could smell electrical burning, you know that horrible smell it gets in your throat and you can't clear it? Well, I looked in the boot just over my shoulder like this. The seat was down at the back there, you can just see it's up. Um, it was down, I could see smoke, but it was playing. It sounded fine, I weren't having it loud, it was just sitting there. Well, I've got the amp here. I've had it a while, I can't remember how long it is. I'll have to look at my previous video when, well, a long time ago when uh, I bought it, I showed you I swapped it. Um, but I found the problem. I don't know if it's repairable, uh, but I will show you. But the main reason why I'm doing this today is because I need your help, okay? I need your help because uh, you all know what I'm running by my previous videos. There's loads of you subscribers. Thanks for subscribing and being there. Um, but now I need your help because I want to buy another monoblock. I honestly do believe this one's had it. I will let you have a look and you see the damage. Um, it does still work, but it just smells. Uh, but it stinks right now, and it's not even on. It's sitting here on my lap. Um, but um, I need your help. I need you guys to help me pick or show me a monoblock that you recommend. I'm genuinely stuck. Um, I'll show you what one's in the description that I'm thinking about. I can't remember the names. So there's a couple. I think, is it Soundstorm? It's a 3000 watt. Um, it's not one I'm stable, though, but I'm running at two anyway. But the only thing that puts me off it, oh, it's 170 quid. Another one of these is 150. Uh, the only thing that puts me off it is how can you get a 3,000 watts of power through 140 amp views? That's right. On the side of this uh, one that I'm looking at getting, it only has 140 amp views. And it's apparently a 3,000 watt. It's like, I don't know, I don't know, man. Is that a little bit, you know, ambitious? But on mine, I've got 340s on there. And this was a really good amp. Loads of, loads of you might then say, oh, well, if it was a good amp and it was good for you, you might as well just get it again. Well, I don't know. There's more out there. Do you know what I mean? I'm all open for discussion. Um, let's get down and I'll show you where I found this knackered. All right. All right, then. Well, this is the monoblock I've been running for a while. I, like I said, I can't remember how long I've been using it. Um, but it did have a date on the bottom, March 2013. Obviously, I don't know if that's when I bought it. I doubt it. But if I flip it over... This is what it looks like when you take it apart. Okay, now this, like I've said, was a good amp. It never did me wrong, but I found where it's smoking. Okay, and you'll see, see the damage. I hope it'll come out all right. If I see if I can just try and get it in a good position so you guys can see. It is broken. I don't know if it's repairable. You guys might know. I don't know. But it's, it's there. Um, that's where it's toasted oh shit this wobbles um i don't know much about amplifiers as, as in terms of the innards but i don't think that's supposed to be doing that and it's making this nasty grinding noise um you can see look at that you can see it's slightly burnt if you can flick it and it does play but you've got to really push on this problem is it sparks down here and you can see it's all like burnt I'll um, put my torch on and see if that makes it any better. There you go, I've got my torch on, whether it makes it any better, but you can see down there is where it's really fucked. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if that's repairable, whether you guys know it might be, I don't know, but yeah, there you go, you can see that a hell of a lot better now. Look at that. Oh, I don't know how it did that. I mean, but she's toasted, didn't she, lads? You know what I mean? So, this is the problem I have now. So. I don't want a chance putting it back in and gluing it and but that is my situation. I'm all open for discussion if you guys know of anything anything else that's pretty good apart from this one. Um I'll put a link in the description for one of these and I'll put a link in for the, the one that I'm looking at. Uh but yeah, other than that, this was fine until it started smoking. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, power protect doesn't come on. It doesn't moan about power in any way. Because it works. But 
yeah. There you go. That is the issue I have. Um, if you guys seriously can help me out because I'm genuinely stuck. It'll be a while. It'll be about, I don't know, maybe another month till I get another one. Go wait till payday. Um, but, yeah. That's my situation. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you can help me. Uh, just um, a shot in the dark. Uh, but, yeah, cheers for watching. And uh, please comment down below and let me know what you reckon or what you guys are running. It'll be good. Give me a sort of rough idea. Uh, the subwoofer, in case you didn't know, I'm running is a 2000 watt Pioneer 12 inch. It's a 2 ohm sub. Um, it, so I don't need a 1 ohm stable amp. I just pretty much need one that's going to be good at 2 and 4. would be fine. Um, subwoofer, I'd like it to be running at 1000 watt RMS. Um, but yeah, if you guys can post a link or give me a name, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.